What's up guys? Sprint has been a hot topic in the Halo community for as long as I can remember. Whether it's talking about whether Sprint would be good in the old Halo games, or it's talking about whether the new games would be better without Sprint. So today, we're going to experiment what Halo 3 would be like if it had Sprint. So let's jump right in. Alright, first server that we hopped on here is basically a full server on Guardian. But it's got Fiesta and it's got Sprint on, so it's pretty much perfect for what I want to show you guys. So in, in all transparency, obviously, this is El Dorito and not proper Halo 3. But for the sake of showing what Halo 3 would be like with Sprint, I think this does a decent case of kind of showing that without having to actually go through files and mod MCC. Guardian's not the best map for it because it's pretty small, but you can kind of see what Halo would be like, what Halo 3 would be like if it was if it had sprint. You will notice the sprint in El Dorito is pretty fast. It's extremely broken with the melee weapons. And I will say the the time it takes to recoup and pull your gun back out is honestly a little high too. If they were to actually try and balance this, I would say that the, the sprint speed definitely needs to be lowered. Look how fast you go. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. I ran right past a guy, but it's getting pretty crazy. <laughs> But yeah, you can you can definitely see like look how fast that guy just like sprinted across my screen. It it really makes you go fast. But yeah, so this is Halo 3 Fiesta with way too many people on Guardian. <laughs> Obviously, sprint is something that has been heavily debated in the Halo community for quite some time. And this video isn't really to to show anything. It it's not to say sprint would be good in Halo 3 cuz I will wholeheartedly say it wouldn't be. And it's not even to say that Sprint is good in the other games. Just kind of show you what Halo 3 would be like if it had Sprint in it. Unfortunately, I couldn't find just like regular Team Slayer servers that had Sprint on. We had to go with this Fiesta one. But it, it is what it is. Sometimes finding specific lobbies in El Dorito can be pretty difficult as the population isn't huge. And it, it obviously goes down to what type of servers that the different server hosts want to host. We also just got a fucking overkill with the assault rifle. <laughs> Guardian is already a pretty small map, but it feels even smaller when you can sprint across it in like half a second. Look, look at this. Oh my god, I'm just speeding. Oh no. Oh no, I got caught by a grab hammer. I'm gonna kill him with this pistol. Got him. So I will note, while I normally play MCC with a controller, I usually play El Dorito with mouse and keyboard because the controller support in it's kind of funky, and so it's just easier for me to pick the, the mouse and keyboard back up and play it. All right, here we go, here we go. He won't see it coming. See how long it takes to pull your gun back out after you're sprinting? It's honestly, like I was saying, if I was to balance this, I would lower the sprint speed by probably 25 to 50 percent. But I'd I'd raise the, I'd also lower the time that it takes to to ready your weapon probably also by 50 percent. So you would you would run slower, but you'd be able to get back into combat quicker, which I think would make it a lot more balanced. Oh yeah, this is this is multi kill opportunity. Oh no. <laughs> like, look how fast you're just like sprinting across the bottom of the map. It's crazy. Oh, oh, got him. No. Oh. This is honestly a ton of fun. All right, so that's the first game, guys. We're going to hop into another game and we'll kind of see how it goes from there. All right, so here is the next game. We hopped into the pit this time and it's Team Fiesta instead of Free For All Fiesta. So this will kind of show it a little bit different. This time we're playing a team game, we're playing on the pit, which is a little bit bigger than Guardian. One thing that's unfortunate still is the lobby is pretty full still. This is like big team battle lobby size instead of 4v4, which is what you would play on the pit, obviously. But this kind of shows how fast you can get across if you were sprinting. Also, this gun doesn't have a proper sprint animation, so I just go really fast. Hold on, let me let me see if I can show you again before I die. Alright, ready? Yeah, we're going fast. Makes me feel alive. All the other guns, it seems like, have animations besides the Sentinel Beam, which is pretty hilarious. Alright, here we go, here we go. Not today, Mr. Rocket Man. So obviously, just like Guardian, Sprint completely breaks this map. 
But for the sake of kind of screwing around and having some fun, I would say it's pretty damn fun. I would never, ever want to play this in any competitive form. It's way too hectic and way too crazy. Completely ruins the flow of the map just with how quickly you can get across things. But fuck it, for Team Fiesta 8v8 on the pit, I'll say Sprint makes it pretty fun. It just makes it even more crazy than normally Team Fiesta is, which that's the whole purpose of Team Fiesta is to to be kind of hectic and crazy and this honestly just amplifies that game over all right so that one was pretty damn fast so we'll hop into one more real quick and then we'll kind of wrap the video up there all right last game we got here is another free for all fiesta game this time we're actually playing on a el dorito forge remake of longshore which is a big team battle map so this actually will give a good perspective so i'm kind of glad that we got this one as you can see this kind of also showcases halo online's forge which is something i mentioned in my last video you can kind of see the cool things you can you can really make with it you really could remake anything you wanted you had the ability the only downside was just some of the textures weren't there like halo 5 the texture and the color palette's probably a little better but other than that, Halo Online has a pretty damn baller forge. I'm kind of sad I didn't kill that guy. I will admittedly say that Longshore is not a map that I'm a big fan of, even actual Longshore. It's just, it's, I've never really thought it was very good and I can never pinpoint why, but I just, I don't really like it. Oh yeah, we got a sniper, let's go. And, oh no, he came back out. Oh, I can't believe I hit that guy. Oh no. All right, all right, all right. Fair, fair. I like. I'm. St I can't go through that little corner. I've tried like three times now. I won't lie. Sniping in in El Dorito feels fucking great. I like it more than mouse and keyboard sniping in MCC. Mouse and keyboard sniping feels good in MCC, but for some reason the scope sensitivity has always felt weird, and I don't have that problem here. It just. It feels. It feels like it should. Other than, than saying it feels good, I don't really know how to describe that, but maybe if you've played this and you've also played MCC with mouse and keyboard and you've done extensive sniping or just even using the battle rifle, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. The, the mouse, the way it handles the scoped weapons in MCC is just a little funky. I've, I've never really gotten the hang of it and I don't know why. Maybe I just need to mess with my scope sensitivity a bit. I'm not sure. All right, there's a guy up here. We're going to get him. Ooh, triple, triple. Over, let's go. Damn it. I've gotten more overs playing these Fiesta games for you guys than I've gotten in like the past two weeks of fucking Halo. I uh, am a, an, a, a notorious over choker. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that sprint play. That's a, that's a play you can only make with sprint right there. Uh, just ignore the fact that my mouse just yeeted my screen into the ceiling. I think the sensor's going bad. <laughs> it does that occasionally. And I, I think it might be time to get a new mouse in the near future. I am really interested to see in Halo Infinite if I end up playing that game with mouse and keyboard. One of the main reasons I haven't needed to get a new mouse is because, well... All I mostly play is, is Halo, and since I play the Master Chief Collection... I just play that with a controller, but if Infinite is a little more balanced, or honestly just with it being a new game, I think it might be worth the time investment. Right now it's just I, I'm so comfortable playing these older Halo games with a controller that I just do that, but with Infinite it'll be brand new, everyone will be new to it, so I think it, I might give it a shot. Oh, come on, come on, come on, got him, behind me, Ah, oh, damn. Ah, run! So your shields do go up when you sprint in this, just like Halo 4, unlike Halo 5. I I think I prefer the Halo 5 model. In Halo 4 and this, it does make it very easy to escape from people when you're taking damage. One thing you'll notice is, unlike Halo 4 or 5, this game is not using unlimited sprint. You have a meter, kind of like reach, although with how fast it is and how long the meter lasts, you can basically get anywhere you want. It's not a problem. It's not like reach where you're 
Spartan has asthma and gets like two feet before having an asthma attack. Oh my lord, I missed every shot. Oh my god. No. So many hammers. So many hammers. I got him finally. Ooh, got a, got a double. Ah, uh, we were going for another hover, but we blew it. Oh, Halo 3 pistol. Now this is where it's at. This is where the money's... Never mind. Oh god, that guy lagged so bad. No, he's got rockets. No! No! Oh, he had to reload him. Oh, he reloaded him for me. <laughs> that crab lift did nothing. Except let me make plays. Never mind. Oh, 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 I'm getting shot in the back. Alright, that's going to wrap up that game, guys. So that is going to be Halo 3 with Sprint. Obviously, like I was telling you guys, this is El Dorito. It's not actual Halo 3. I didn't modify Halo 3 MCC, although I would be down to test that out if someone has a Halo 3 mod that has Sprint in it. During this, we obviously played Fiesta, which is a lot different than playing regular Slayer or regular Team Slayer or CTF or something, but I think it kind of showed how this version of Halo 3 would play if it had Sprint, and that is to say it pretty much ruins any <laughs> form of balance on the map so you can get across them so fast your guy sprinted so fast and it was even annoying trying to get out of sprint to shoot people and it really ruined the flow of the map in the games however since we were playing fiesta it did kind of make it more chaotic and more fun which was pretty cool so that's going to do it for the video if you enjoyed it you know what to do if you want to catch me live, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash rash with three R's, or you can follow me on Twitter at rash with four R's. With that said, I'll see you all next time.